there's a enchantment or a magic about it, you know, that I've felt since I was very young and was fascinated with plants. I would go and get into gardening with my great grandma and sort of picked up on it. It's a place that we always knew about because I lived right close to it and our school would have little trips up here. We have this fantastic collection. It's just an obvious classroom, if you will. My husband and I were involved from 1993. We reconstructed everything in aluminum. These collections at the conservatory are probably the finest public collections on the West Coast, and that means even San Francisco. There are always these sort of incidental little surprises that take place that uh, just depends on what plants I have available at the time and how they all come together. It's about allowing people to find their self in the plants. Well, I love the jade tree, of course. I think that's a gem. It was born the same time I was. It's always fun for children to see the ones that eat bugs. <laughs> it shows you what's out there in places that you may never, ever get the opportunity to visit. My passion really is, is in helping to educate kids who are going to be the next generation of stewards of our environment. One of the challenges that we're facing uh, currently is the need to complete the renovation of the building. Everything has come together except for one wing, the east wing. I came back to finish the work, but we'd come to the point where the city didn't have the funds to do it. It's very serious. Rebuilding it is essential, otherwise in a matter of just a few years, it'll crumble. When the building doesn't function properly, then you can't maintain your fantastic collections that you have spent so many years maintaining for the city of Seattle as an asset. It's important for the people, it's important for our city, it's important for architecture, it's important for the plants. It's this, um, this beautiful facade that you see when you drive down the concourse. I know there's something about the beauty of the building that speaks to me. Not only the plants, it's, it's the building. It's like this beautiful woman. People can, for a moment, step out of their busy urban life and come and just enjoy a quiet moment. It's almost like stepping back in time. We've got the permit, we've got the drawings done, architect has done almost all the work. The way to really meet this head-on is to raise the money now, get the job done, and have it completed. If people could just come and walk through it, they would be really amazed. No one who comes in here is disappointed.